We're on the Dover Road past Abel's House, Three Penny Lodge, and the sign says Road Closed. So how do these people get out? And it is closed. How do, how do they get out? No, it's, now it's on. Thursday, the 1st of September. That's a lot of trees hung up. Down here, parallel to the Auger Hole Road, a little bit above South Dufain, near to where Alexander Road cuts in. There are all these sand passages next to the river. Places where the overflow tore through. They're a couple feet above the water level now. A little further up Auger Hole Road. There's a popple, it toppled. Comes around a bend here. We tilt down a little. Looking past all the undercut banks. We got a shelf. I got here on bike, but there's some other options. So here we're at the branch school, September 1st. It'll be a little hard to get to school today. Well, I want to stop at the house down there and see if that lady's okay. I guess we got to pass on some compliments to folks who make telephone wires. A lot of the stuff that's here in the brook isn't too stable yet. But hey, some of it's even pretty. Well, there's probably some copper in that rock. Bank erosion along the auger hole. And then on our side, more wraparounds. No way to get over there except of course, if you got an ATV, and they're doing it. Well, we're kind of midway between the two roads. There's
the other half. September 1st. Take a look at how high those branches are wrapped around the trees. Water level so nine feet above this. So in order to get where I'm going, my trusty steed and I are having a bushwhack every now and then. All right, who's the joker who's trashing around here? Mother Nature did it well enough without us helping. They're doing awesome work. They've got trucks at my end. I'm right on the other end of the destruction, mm -hmm. and the, the phone trucks are there now putting right. poles up. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. They don't have a sign that says slow down and walk your bikes, but they should. Woo! Some mm -hmm. empty frames out. Yeah. These had honey in them, they've been extracted, and I put them in, in other beehives and on the top in an empty chamber, and they clean them up. Gotcha. Because now they're all dry, they can store them for the winter. Mm. And uh, I went down there, you probably went by the beehive. Yeah. I brought that extra charger, this is a solar charger. Mm -hmm. But I didn't need it because there was just a little fraction of an inch that wasn't connecting with the original charger on it, so I got that working. Cool. And, uh, Ready to go home and check out the other hives down up on Timpson Hill. Good. Yeehaw. <laughs> go have some fun out here in the woods. <laughs> an amphibious. It's like one heck of an ATV. <laughs> Serve the purpose. Yeah. Wow, check it out. <laughs> Quite a nice sandbox going there. Any of those Barbies yours? Um, they're all ours. They're all yours, huh? Share them. Oh gosh. Any favorites? 